what is up guys my name is nash and welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be talking about everyone's favorite expensive dividend stock which is going to be abv and i i think it's expensive because uh as of today it's trading at uh 98 dollars and 88 cents which is uh kind of like expensive honestly uh, if you want to round that up that's a hundred dollars but um uh, if you have Robinhood, that should not be a problem because you can simply purchase fractional shares and if you don't have Robinhood, click the link in the description below and uh, you're going to get a free stock and I'm going to get a free stock. But with that being said, uh, as you can see on the screen right now, it's going to be the six months chart for um, Advi. And uh, I think it's interesting because uh, this drop you see here was on March 23rd, which is basically when uh, Corona started. So a lot of companies, you know, took a hit. And uh, so this is, you know, this was a given. But if you look at at uh, every single month after that you can see that it's been on an uptrend which is really interesting because you know a lot of companies have been uh, you know up and down and here you see that AbbVie is constantly uh, rising up but uh, I think that's really interesting but uh, one of the things that's really attractive about AbbVie is going to be the dividend yield so if you look at AbbVie's dividend yield uh, it is sitting at 4.77% which is really nice and over the industry average and i've seen a lot of people who are dividend investors uh, either on youtube or some of my friends they all have abvi and uh, their main reason for investing into abvi is the dividend yield and uh, they feel like it's safe and uh, the payout ratio honestly it's about 52 percent which is really nice because they're not paying uh, a lot of their revenue to uh, investors they're keeping some of it to reinvest back into the business uh, some of the things that I didn't like about Abvi was uh, if you look at the chart you, you can see that in 2019 the total revenue was uh, 33 billion dollars and uh, the crazy thing is that uh, about 60% of that revenue uh, came from one single drug which was Humira I, I think that's how you say it but it is what it is and uh, yeah so that's that's really crazy to hear but you know the most important thing is that uh, they had a positive net income of about seven billion dollars and uh, the year before that they had another positive net income of uh, five billion dollars and uh, you can see that the net income is consistently growing which is which is what we want to see when you're buying into a stock you know you want to make sure that they're making money and uh, recently abvi acquired uh, another drug company i think this company is called uh, allergan i think that's how you say it or allergen or something like that but that's the company that they recently acquired since they are pretty much relying on one drug to create you know uh, most of the revenue right now I think Allergan is going to help them diversify, you know, uh, their revenue. All right, so I think this is a great stock for both uh, swing trading and holding long term for dividends. And uh, for swing trading, you know, it looks like they have not been uh, affected by Corona. You know, they were at first, but you can see that they've recovered pretty well compared to some other companies. Uh, and also for long term, since they were pretty much depending on one drug to make all that revenue and with the addition of Allergan, I think that's going to be a great play long term. Uh, they're going to diversify their income and that's going to attract more investors. And uh, the more revenue they have, the more they're going to increase their dividend yield, which is good for dividend investors. And I think this is a great company. They've been doing pretty well depending on pretty much one drug. And now imagine if they're able to diversify uh, their portfolio, you know, their drug portfolio. I think they can do a lot better with that and they're going to attract more investors. Because I would think um, the reason why some people weren't invested in uh, in Abvi is because, you know, uh, they saw that, you know, them uh, depending on one drug, it's kind of risky. You know, if anything happens to the, to the drug, you know, uh, you're going to see the revenue go down. But uh, that is pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have anything else to say. If you want to add on to this, if you disagree, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.